system dialogue progress indicator. Okay, are we good? All right. Welcome to the Divinely You podcast, as well as Sarah Divinely You on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, <laughs> I want to like tell you a funny story about how the fact that I learned last night that it's easier to upload videos from my laptop than my iPad, and yet it was it would like not be funny to anybody probably but me. But I did learn that, and so it ended up being a process that I didn't expect and whatever. So this is how we learn. This is how we grow. And um, yeah. Anyway, so I hope you're having an awesome day, awesome weekend, and all of that. Um, I have a very short message today, but it's kind of a powerful one um, in um, shifting your language. Um, so. Everything is energy. Our thoughts are energy. Our words are energetic. They carry a vibration. They carry a message to whatever we're talking about or whomever we're talking about. And so, and if we're even talking about ourselves, right? Like, and I talked about it so many times in these videos before, especially on Sundays, because I talk about victimhood a lot on Sundays, um, is uh, things are happening for you, not to you or that you have choices and that you have the power to choose, right? Anytime that you're in a position where you don't have a choice, you have a choice. Um, they may not always be good choices or like sustainable choices, but you have choices. Um, <clears throat> where I talk about, uh, how do I phrase that? Um, what do I wanna say? Uh, Dang it, I just lost my train of thought. So I'll go with limited labels, limitations of labels. When we label ourselves, like if I say I'm not a morning person, then I'm never gonna be able to wake up in the morning because I've already said, and my brain is convicted that I'm not a morning person. But if I say I can get up early, I can get up early and get that task done, then I'm probably gonna get up early and get that damn task done. Um, what was the other one? Oh, waiting for the right timing. Okay, this is a good one because a lot of us sit around and wait on, oh, it's until I have the money or until I have the this or until I have the that that'll actually make the move, do the thing. Let me just tell you that if I waited until I had like the amount of money that I thought I needed to have flowing before I moved out of Chicago and, you know, chose the, I guess the nomad life chose me. Um, but like choosing to leave Chicago, if I would have waited until I had what I thought I needed to make that move, it would have never happened because I still don't have, <laughs> I don't, I still don't have the, uh, the husband that was going to support me in making that move. I still don't have the career or the job that was going to support me in making that move. I still don't have the money flow that I thought I needed to make that move. And I made that move and I was never homeless or whatever that I thought I would happen when I moved there, but it never happened. I was fine. I always had a roof over my head unless I was in the uh, outdoor showers at in the mountains that didn't have a roof. But anyway, that's a whole nother magical story. Um, my point is, is that if we wait until we think we have, until we have the things we think we need to do the thing, then we'll be waiting for because you're just wanting it. And when you effort and want it, you drive it away. Whereas if you just go after the thing you want, it, it'll, it'll just it'll align with your actions, right? I always said I wanted a better life. I wanted to feel better. I wanted less depression, less pain, less all these things. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel joy. I didn't know what that felt like until I experienced it. But my point is, is that if we wait until we have the things we think we need to get there, It'll, it'll not happen. Um, so let's go back to it happens for you, not to you. I now say this about my worst relationship ever. In 2015, I dated a guy for nine months who treated me like shit, who talked down to me like I was a child. Um, but what I learned from that relationship was that I was treating myself that badly, that the people I was associated with were treating me that badly. And so it caused a domino effect of me learning. And, I, and it's been like bubbling to the, it's all been like bubbling up and out and culminating now in 2022 
of releasing all of these old relationships that do not serve me. And let me just tell you, it has not been a fun process at all. It's been a lot of grief, a lot of loss, a lot of loneliness, a lot of my God, are you taking every person that I know out of my life? And yes, God is taking every person that I know out of my life and giving me people who align with me, who support me, not always agree with me, but at least support me in leading this adventurous journey of a life that I lead. I couldn't do it otherwise, because I, we can get so caught up in, I have to have the right people. I have to have the right money. I have to have the right, this, that, and the other thing, fill in the freaking blank. And my invitation is that you switch your language, you change your language and you're going to speak shit that like, you don't believe. Cause I said it for years with my coaches, with my counselors. I don't believe, I don't believe I'm that powerful. I don't believe I'm capable. Um, my biggest hurdle was I don't see, so I don't drive. So I can't do blah, 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 blah. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. I've learned my, I have actually learned to appreciate my own resourcefulness that much more. Um, and trusting myself that, you know, no matter what I'm going to be, I'm going to be fine. It's going to be all good. Um, and trusting God that God's got me and all that. So, so think about what you're saying when you're saying it, because it does matter. Even if you're like, oh, I don't say it to them, but you're saying it to yourself and your thoughts are an energetic cause and energetic response. And so if you say, why does this keep happening to me? Honey, it's probably happening for you so that you can look at it. Why do I keep getting into the same relationship? Why do you keep going after the same type of dude? Y'all just heard my dating story yesterday. Stop going after people. Like I could continue to chase that guy. I could send him more photos. Not gonna, not gonna moved on. <laughs> I already talked to a couple more guys. Um, or we limit ourselves by labeling ourselves. Oh, I'm, I'm this, I'm, I'm stubborn. That's my favorite. All stubbornness is, is resistance. You don't want to change. You don't want to try something different. Well, I'm so stubborn. Why are you so resistant to trying something different? Because what's the definition of insanity? Trying the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. So we get caught up in this. And I did this for years and years and years, you guys. That's why I'm coming to you like this, because I did this so much to myself for so long that it was self-deprecating. Um, and it wasn't until I started to shift the way I thought and spoke about things that have that happened for me in my life that I changed, that I was able to make the mindset changes to actually, you know, it's like the other day, somebody was like, aren't you scared to go to someone's house? And my, the other person said, she's not scared of anything. Um, I would not say that I am not scared. I would say that I am definitely scared and I do it anyway because the more I conquer the fear, the bolder I get and the more courage that I have to keep doing something new. So think about what you're saying when you're saying it, think about your thoughts. What, what are you thinking about? Are you, are you thinking that things are happening to you? Are you thinking that you don't have a choice? Are you thinking that, well, I'm this, so I can't do that. If you're thinking all of those things, you're creating that energetic response. So you have to prove to yourself all the time that you don't, you can't do those things. Shift your language. I have the power to choose. I ha things happen for me in my life to show me a different way or to teach me a lesson. Um, I am not limited by labels because I have the power to change the way I interact with the world. I am not going to wait for the right guy, the right money, the right job. I'm going to just take this move and I'm going to take the leap of fate and do it. So there you go. Break up with your victimhood. <laughs> I promise you the magic is on the other side of breaking up with being a victim. There is magic on it, on the other side of it. So thanks so much for tuning in. That's all I've got for today. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. 
I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for sharing the videos, liking, commenting, whatever you're doing to interact or um, whatever. Uh, I appreciate all of it. And um, I'll talk to you guys on the next uh, episode, next show, next day, whatever, whatever the time frame is in which you're watching this. Remember to check out the Divinely You podcast if you want just audio. Thanks for tuning in on YouTube, Sarah Divinely You. You can check out my Instagram at Sarah Divinely You, S A R A. Uh, you can always email me, sewcoaching at gmail.com if you're interested in working with me, whether it's coaching, Reiki, or otherwise. Uh, just pop me an email and we can set that up or DM me on Instagram and we can set that up. Uh, and that's all I got. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Love you. Stop recording.